Chelsea here. So welcome back to another speed building video. And this time it's kind of, I don't know. I wanted it to look like a cheap house. It's not a cheap house because that's just how things work in The Sims, especially for me. I actually wanted this house to be around 40,000 simoleons. It's like 85,000 simoleons. So I pretty much doubled what I was shooting for. But you know, that's like really difficult to do when you don't have an actual budget to stick to a budget so I don't know I did I do think it looks cheaper in the end I did want it to look not like a fancy house I wanted it to look like a cheaper place because I had planned for roommates to live here and so I thought that they would just live in kind of an older house it's kind of cheap looking or is cheap and yeah I don't know it's <laughs> it's what I had in mind anyway so I do have three bedrooms that I intended to be for three roommates. I didn't move any sims in here, but I did kind of decorate the rooms to suit certain sims, but not necessarily certain sims, if that makes sense. So I don't know if it does. Um, but the idea of this house came from a picture I saw on Pinterest. I saw the exterior, like the front of this house, and it looks pretty close to how this actually looks. It look, actually turned out pretty, pretty close to the picture, but, um, I, I didn't look at the floor plans that it had and I didn't try to find like the back of the house but I was really inspired by the front of this and I was like I could totally build that in The Sims and I thought that it would look really good in this neighborhood I thought it would totally match the kind of like background houses that you can see off in the distance and yeah so I thought it would just suit this neighborhood really nicely and I've honestly been kind of avoiding this neighborhood because I'm thinking about getting rid of the cargo containers for the like overall neighborhood because they're kind of like for me a sometimes house not an all the time house <laughs> you know what I mean it'd be like I don't know I just I'm kind of tired of looking at it to be honest so if you have any strong opinions or want to say anything about it then you totally can let me know but I'm thinking about getting rid of it I think I'm gonna keep the guy that lives there but I want to give him a new house I think is what my plan is and something that suits the neighborhood a little bit better because the cargo thing I think it's fun and it's more fun to build but I'm just tired of looking at <laughs> Oh, I think it's kind of funny um, but anyways I wanted to take a moment and thank you guys so much for 900 subscribers that is a crazy number to me I can't believe we are almost like a hundred people away from a thousand subscribers that number to me only a few months ago seemed completely unattainable I was honestly hoping to reach 500 by May and it's not even May until we are past 900 subscribers. So that is so awesome. And I'm so appreciated of you guys. Like, I don't know. I just am so grateful to be able to share my builds and share videos with you guys because it's just so much fun to do. It's really enjoyable. And I haven't been a part of the Sims community that long or been playing the Sims for that long. And ever since I've started playing it, I just really enjoyed it. I felt so creative and I've had so much fun learning different things about architecture and learning different things about design and just how to build in general is super fun and this game is just it's really enjoyable and all the people in the community are super nice and so friendly and if you aren't a part of the community like if you don't socialize with people in the community I would definitely highly recommend getting a Twitter account and just sharing builds sharing gameplay or just talking with people because seriously some of the nicest people you will ever meet so I'm very very happy and very grateful to this whole experience it's really awesome so I just want to thank you guys so much and to all of you guys that are you know new I really hope that you guys you know are enjoying yourselves here and yeah I just really appreciate it so enough with the sappiness let's talk about the build I guess um so I'm pretty much getting I think you know everything kind of situated on how it's gonna look I do a little pathway here to the fence and I actually really like the landscaping in this house. I do mostly base game plants, I think, but there are a few things from Get Together and Outdoor Retreat. Outdoor Retreat has some pretty good stuff, so I use some of the ferns there because there's some grassy fern stuff over by that like magical tree that's like a portal to the whatever place. There's some like ferny stuff over there that we don't have, and <laughs> it's so it's so frustrating when you see a plant in the world and we don't have it an option even in debug we don't have it as an option why do they do that to us is torture us but anyways the ferns from 
outdoor retreat are the closest thing that we have, in my opinion, to to the ferns that I was looking at. So I don't know. I just try to make things blend into their surroundings. And so when we don't have the exact plants, it's very annoying to me. But I do like the way that the the landscaping turned out on this build. It's pretty it's pretty nice and I like the little pathway. I just think it's super cute. And I like the I like the whole backyard in general. I do add like a hot tub and a little picnic area and yeah, I just like it. And it's something I should mention if I sound weird or goofy or if I repeat myself, I've already recorded this and I recorded the whole thing and it was pretty good I thought, but um yeah, I recorded no sound. My mic was muted the entire time and I recorded the whole thing straight through <laughs> with no pauses. Oh my god, it was infuriating. That hasn't happened to me in since I, uh, since when I first early started my channel, I think I had that happen to me one time where I recorded like a bunch of it and recorded nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I went to like play it back to make sure everything was okay and there was no sound, but at least I did play it back and didn't like, you know, render it and then upload it with no sound because that would have been, that would have been frustrating because I know my opinion, I like to watch videos no matter what I'm watching, much more when people are talking rather than playing music because yeah, I just personal preference I guess I just whether it's sims videos or I've been recently watching a lot of um, digital art and when people just play music over those I'm like I don't I don't know I don't find it as interesting I like to hear people's thought process hear their ideas any input even if they just ramble and don't talk about what they're actually you know making a video on it's just more enjoyable to me than whatever music they're gonna put over it because then I get distracted and I don't think about it. I don't know. It's just my my opinion so I wouldn't want to upload something without me doing any commentary over it. But as you can see we are on to the interior now and this build took me about three hours so I didn't cut anything out besides like mind excuse me mindless like tedious messing around with things that didn't ever happen. <laughs> So I left the floor plan in and this is the kitchen. So the stairs on the outside of the house on the left side go into the kitchen and the living area. But when I was play testing it and taking screenshots, they were using the back door as a front door. And I, you know what? I actually had neighbor sims just come in the house. I hadn't had that happen since I first got this game. I was like, I was like taking screenshots and there, I think, went down into one of the bedrooms and there was some neighbor sitting at the computer and I'm sick so I'd like take him out and like, I like what is happening um but yeah that was weird I haven't had that happen in a long time where people just barge in usually when the welcome wagon comes you know you can invite them in they don't just automatically barge in so that was a little bit weird but um but uh I forgot where I was going if I had a point to what I was talking about but um yeah, so <laughs> this is, oh yeah, I was talking about, yeah, you may want to lock the door, um, or not lock it, but I mean set this as the front door, so there's Sims neighbors and company and stuff come to this door instead of the back door, so I don't know if that bothers you at all. It may not, but um, that's a pretty cool option that came with the whole door locking and things, is being able to set things as the front door when you have weird builds like this anyways. Um, but anyway, so the kitchen is coming together, and it's... At this point, I was kind of just doing the kitchen to do a kitchen, and I didn't really have any particular style in mind. I mean, I knew from the start that I wanted this to be for roommates, and so I wanted it to be kind of a jumble of kind of furniture and styles and just different aesthetics, I guess, just different different things. And so I was just making a kitchen and still had, didn't really know what I was going to do for the rest of the house and how I was going to decorate the living room and everything. So I think it came together in the end and I think I was able to achieve the kind of like mix match look while still keeping it somewhat cohesive because I didn't want to make it so mismatched that it didn't look good. So I don't know. Hopefully you guys agree. And something I would definitely recommend if you do decide to download this is to turn on the move objects. They do use it quite a bit to place items on top of the refrigerator and the shelving and stuff because, yeah, <laughs> I just, I have been trying to remember to remind people to do that because it's so frustrating when you don't remember to turn on move objects, then all of a sudden there's like, things are all weird and yeah, I mean, I don't download too many things from the gallery, but I've definitely downloaded things sometimes and I'm like, that doesn't look right. And it's like, oh, well, I didn't turn on move objects. That's probably why. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm so like, 
mixed up because I'm trying to not repeat myself from things I talked about in the previous recordings. That's so frustrating. Um, but, oh, I know I haven't talked about the floorboards yet. So I really wanted to use these white floorboards. Um, they're from the Spooky Stuff Pack. They're kind of like the more worn floorboards. I've seen people use this particular swatch of them and I really like it when I do see it. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I don't know, I guess I'm just not as good at that, <laughs> but I do end up keeping those floorboards, but I change them to a darker color because for some reason I couldn't get the white to work. At least in my eyes it wasn't working, so yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I think they look all right. It looks, it looks better with the darker floorboards in the end, so. And I also really like those orange chairs that I use from the Bully Night Stuff Pack. Those are probably my new favorite item in the entire game. I think they're just perfect. I love them so much. And I ended up doing this thing that I was so proud of myself. I hung this painting on that brick wall that's uh, right in front of the staircase. Um, oh, I have something in my eye. It's like this bright orange and I forget what other colors are in it. There may be some like, greens and yellows. But normally I probably wouldn't use such a bold painting, but it just worked so well. Like it tied into the candle and the chairs and I was just like, wow, like you're so designy. I don't know. Cause I'm like, I'm not a design person. I've never been taught anything about design. So I'm pretty much clueless. And I mean, I've taken art classes in high school. I've taken a lot of art classes and I've taken like art history in college. So I have some, you know, knowledge on art, but design, I don't. So when I just, when I do things that are complementary and match each other or comp, I don't know. I'm just pretty proud of <laughs> that whole matchy thing. I don't know. You'll see in a little bit. It's probably not that big of a deal. I'm probably blowing it up in my mind, but I just, I felt like everything was kind of just cool and muted. And when I put in that painting, it just kind of tied it together for me. So I don't know. When I first started my channel, I was really not confident about my interior design. So it's something I think I've improved on a lot. And so, especially when I do something that I think is particularly nice and kind of looks on purpose, then I'm always like, yes, I'm so happy. So look at that, it matches. Oh, so good. <laughs> it just it makes me so happy. Um, and then I do a little seating area out here, nothing special. And then I think we get down to the basement, or not the basement, but the downstairs where the bedrooms are. And there's three bedrooms. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And then one bathroom. So it's a bit crowded not having another bathroom in this house. But I think your Sims would be okay. And you could easily renovate this for a family if you wanted to. And you could probably figure out a way to put another bathroom in there too. Because I think one of the bedrooms is quite big. So you could probably squeeze in another bathroom. You may be able to squeeze one in upstairs too. But I didn't bother. It wasn't really high on my priority list for this house so yeah I thought one would be fine and yeah I did play test everything too just in case you are worried about everything I think at least all the essentials he was able to eat and sleep and I think I had him sleep in all the different beds or at least sit down in them to make sure he could get to them and yeah he went showered and used the toilet so should be okay oh and I put a little inset in here which I thought was kind of funny because, I don't know, it'd be like lighting a match or something after you go to the bathroom. It's just kind of something silly that I thought about. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to put a little incense up here. Why not? But, um, so as far as the bedrooms go, like I said, or may have not said, I'm not sure if I did, I didn't have any particular sims in mind. So I started decorating this bedroom, um, at first. And so it ended up being kind of like a gamer room. So I still kept with not designing these rooms for any particular gender, but I kind of more just suited them for personalities or for hobbies. So this one's a gamer one. The second bedroom that I decorate is for like an artsy sim. And the third one, I was thinking more for like a hardcore activist sim or kind of like a gypsy drifter activist sim. I don't know. It may not be that clear to you. Maybe it'll be a little bit clearer when we get to the bedroom, but that's what, um, what I was going for when when I was decorating it. And it all, like, honestly, I was gonna make it a pretty girly room because I do put purple wallpaper in there to start with. And then when I was decorating the artist room, I found the megaphone in the, like, you know, the catalog. And I was like, oh, that would be perfect. So I put the megaphone in there and then I just kind of went from there. So yeah, this build definitely evolved over the course of me building it because I just didn't have a necessarily clear plan going in. And, and that's something that I do try to do because I don't know, I feel like it helps me sometimes. It, 
like to create certain characters and stuff. Oh, this I haven't mentioned, which is kind of a big deal. I've been making photographs, so you may have noticed if you've watched my penthouse build and if you've watched my bridal studio, I've been using a lot of custom artwork that I've made for this particular build. So I decided to run a little photography boot camp the other day and have some Sims make some photos. And so I will definitely upload this to the gallery, so if you want to have any of these photos in your game, they're not custom content if you're not sure about that. They're just me in the game taking photographs of things we already have in the game. So you should have no problem using them and should not have to turn on any custom content to be able to use them because they are not custom content. <laughs> just wanted to make that perfectly clear because there are lots of things on the gallery that don't show up as custom content but will show up as custom content once you have them into your game. I know Kiwi Simming's been doing that a lot on her channel, is downloading custom pictures and them not showing up as custom content when she downloads them, but once she puts them into her, into her game, then they're flagged as custom content. So it's kind of a gray area of CC because you're using the game to create it. So it's a little bit weird, but mine is definitely not. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And if you do want this, then I will hopefully remember by the night, time I upload my game next to put it into the gallery and if I forget and you are interested then just message me here in the comments or on Twitter and yeah just let me know that it's not up there and I need to do so um, but that painting that I have above the bed I don't end up keeping it in this room but I really like it it's probably my favorite one that I made out of all of them and it's just a sim with one of the sun hats on in the game and Ah, she just looks perfect it was I was so proud of that picture so yeah I would like to do some more of these and probably make them a little bit more organized but for now I think I'll just upload these ones as they are but I think I would like to do them more as like three tile by one tile with a more organized like matching set of pictures in them I don't know if that's really necessary to do but I think having smaller rooms would be better because then they're easily easier to place when no matter what build you're doing because these ones are kind of long I think they're like eight or ten squares or something long so maybe not that many but still they're they're pretty they're pretty long they're only one tile wide though so I don't know oh and something was weird when I was saving them it wasn't showing the pictures <laughs> in the like the little save photo so I don't know why that was so if I upload them to the gallery and it looks like the, they're just empty rooms they're not and I don't know what's wrong with my game and they're not showing them as being you know having things in them so it's a little bit weird but I actually really like the way this room turned out it looks so warm and cozy like I would just love to lay in that bed and read a book or something. It just looks so nice with that like uh, that lamp and these little fairy lights that I hang on. It's just uh, so cozy and so warm and I, don't, I just really like this room a lot, honestly. It's just, I don't know, it's just so cozy and yeah, I always forget about those fairy lights and when I do remember them, I'm like, oh yeah, it's such a good item. I don't know, this is probably my favorite room to be honest. I really like the activist room, but this one's probably my first one. And it took me forever to find those paint cans. I had to actually filter out the um, city living pack because I couldn't find them. It took me, I was like scrolling forever through the catalog trying to find them. And hopefully I don't make you guys too dizzy going back and forth between the rooms and trying to get artwork and stuff. I tried to not do it too crazy, but um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it still looks a little bit crazy because, you know, the video is sped up, of course, so. But, um, I don't know. I just had a lot of fun hanging up these are hanging up these and decorating these rooms they're just just creating them for whatever sims and to look nice it's lots of fun but now we are on to the activist room so as you can see the wallpaper is purple and so I was originally gonna make it a quite curly room and quite feminine but uh yeah just completely don't go that direction at all and I put a closet in the hallway just because since the beds are pushed up against the wall I wanted somewhere for woohoo I mean there is a hot tub outside so you could do that as well but I don't know if it's easy for them to woohoo when it's pushed up against the wall I know two sims can sleep in it because one will scoot over but I just wasn't really sure how that works so um, yeah closets are good for that and yeah I don't know I really like the room and I thought that the sim that would be in this room may have just showed up and was like hey can I stay with you guys for a while because I put the garage door in here because maybe they were using this as a garage and then when this sim came to stay, they were like, oh yeah, you can just you know stay in the garage and we'll put the garage stuff in storage or whatever. It's kind of something I was thinking, probably is not that important, but yeah, I don't know, I just really like this room. I think it's pretty cool and it looks total like, I just thought it would be like kind of like a hardcore activist, like tie yourself to a tree and go to the city and just shout with that megaphone and 
cause a ruckus. I don't know. This is kind of cool. I don't know. I like thinking of different characters. It's lots of fun for me. And since I didn't have any particular ones in mind going into this build, it was fun kind of develop developing them over time. Even though I didn't make them in the end, I don't know. <laughs> you honestly, you don't have to keep these. It's the Sims that I had in mind in here, of course. You could make it for a family or whatever you wanted to do. But yeah, so now we're going on to the backyard. I had some yoga mats back here, back here because I just really like the wellness skill and yoga mats are always fun to have. Oh, and you know that little um, ketchup and mustard holder from backyard stuff? I had forgotten that item existed until maybe two or three builds ago and I want to use it forever now. Every single build. It's the cutest thing on the planet. It's the most adorable item we have in the game. It's so cute. I'll point it out in just a moment when I am done messing with these lights that I never end up using and pull them out in every build. Um, but I end up putting lanterns instead. But um, yes, yeah, so I do a little kind of picnic area and just wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Hold on. Here it is. This item. Isn't it so cute? Do you guys remember that that exists? I love it so much. It's so adorable. <laughs> I just, I think it's so cute. I just really like it a lot. So I don't know. I was pretty happy with that. Even though it's a pretty simple backyard, I just really enjoyed it because it's just so cute. But anyways, I'm just going to hang up on the lights and then we're going to get onto the screenshots. So I'll end my voiceover now and just, t just take some time to thank you guys again so much for 900 subscribers. It is super awesome. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this build and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye.